Hello everyone and welcome back to my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll put a link here for you. This is going to be a follow-up video on the uh, Chargemaster 1500 from RCVS. If you didn't see the previous video, I'll put a link to it here, but basically I'll give you the gist of it. I'm having an issue with the responsiveness of the keypad both on the bottom and on the top. And um, my, my unit's out of warranty and uh, RCBS was pointing me to a third or fourth, even fourth party. I'll put a link to that uh, conversation here so you can see the kind of help I was getting. So basically I'm out of warranty, I'm SOL. So I have a $400 useless scale here. Well, not completely useless. The buttons work enough to where it'll function, but it's still very frustrating. So basically I did something they used to call in the old industry called card swapping where I took another unit and I swapped the the scale portion with the powder charger and when I did this I noticed that the error followed my charging uh, portion the the powder trickler portion here so I I deemed that the error was in here so on the bottom of the unit you're gonna see a, a, a warranty or a uh, yeah warranty label security label whatever it is and once you pop that open you pretty much voided your warranty however mine's out of warranty so I didn't have any problems with that so you remove these four screws on the bottom open it up and when you do open it up there's a uh, flex cable that connects the upper portion of the powder trickler to the bottom portion where the where the little printed circuit board is and the printed circuit board is only about two maybe three inches two by three inches in size be careful not to yank on it gently remove that that flex cable from the little connector and then remove the little DC power cord from the connector that's on the board as well then uh, then take the board out so here's what the board looks like you know both sides of it now on the back side is where I want you to pay attention the connector that makes contact with the the powder trickler and the scale portion is this one right here and in this photo we'll take a closer look up of it look at it rather and you'll notice that the connector itself has these frosty looking solder joints as opposed to the ones in the bottom right hand corner which are real shiny and real nice looking what that those frosty looking joints are what's called cold solder joints and it's where the solder was flowed or melted it's like a little welding if you don't know what soldering is it's kind of like micro electronic welding and the weld is not a very conductive weld it's not the best weld there can be so we want our joints to look like real nice and shiny like the ones at the bottom so what I did was I took the board out and um, I'm using a microscope uh, camera here so my soldering is not that great because I'm, I'm watching the screen and trying to work under the screen at the same time I'm used to working under a microscope so this doesn't really help me very much working on a TV monitor but basically I'm just gonna do what they call is reflowing these solder joints and I'm reflowing the solder joints on the the, the connector that makes the contact between the scale and the, and the uh, powder trickler and then once I reflowed the joints put it back together and here we go I'll turn it on now turn it on rather and if you remember I was having problems with responsiveness on the keypad let me raise this up for you so you can see <clears throat> in the previous video you would uh, or I would press the calibration and nothing would happen key and you notice nothing changed it should go to zero let me press it again and again and again and again try another finger see if that works okay there it went it went to zero that time now it wants to go to calibrate almost immediately let me cancel out of that well I guess I turned it off and then my next portion I was having problems with the calibration key was not very responsive then setting my powder charges up here was problematic the keys were not very responsive at all but if you remember one of the one of the numbers I was trying to type in was 29 here we go two nine 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 so just by reflowing these solder joints it fixed my problem now if you're having this problem I recommend doing this if you're out of warranty if you're still in warranty send it back obviously um, but if you're out of warranty you have nothing to lose in my opinion my error happened to be on the powder trickler portion itself so I reflowed those joints I did not take the scale portion apart which I uh, I but I assume it's gonna have another similar connector down there uh, just 
check those, inspect those joints for that frosted look. And if they, if they look like they've done that, just reflow them. Heck, if you've taken it apart that far, reflow them anyway and put it back together and see if that fixes your problem. Well, needless to say, I'm very happy that I don't have to go out and buy another powder thrower slash scale. Um, I hope this video helps others out there that may be having a similar problem. Well, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video.